That's beautiful, Pastor. So when folks hear me say that, I say, ooh, here's poor wife. That girl ain't poor. I ain't God, she's blessed. That's right. Regardless of how blessed she is, she know my God-given stand. It's a stand that I'm not willing to trade. No what would a man give in exchange for his soul? his soul? And that's the problem with some of you preachers that are watching. Your yeah. wives, your wife run the church. Yeah. You ain't nothing but a figurehead. That's right. Your wife run the church. She tell you who to meet with. She tell you how much money to raise. She tell what you can do and what you can't do. And because you are afraid of your bed turning to Alaska. Yeah, hey, go ahead. Let's go. That's right. Your wife's leg shouldn't dictate what you preach. That's you right. should have put Bible over booty. Am I right? Bible over booty. That's right. I want to make it so plain you got to understand it. That's right. You old weak things don't put booty over Bible. Go ahead, brother. You preach something, your wife sit out there. I, I came out of false churches and I seen it done. Yes. I have seen preachers preach certain things and their wife got peed off about it. And look at them. And the preacher said, Oh, it's time to bring it home now. It's time my 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 work is done. I have Finish the course. I, I have fought a good fight. There is laid up for me a crown. <laughs> Am I right? I said. That's right. Any man let his house dictate his gospel, you are not a preacher. Not a preacher. I don't care who you are. That's right. That's when right. a Bible selects the wife and says she's to help me, that'll mean help you make decisions in the church, no. preach the gospel, and use Bible judgment on the people. No way. No. No, no. No. Some of you brothers that got the preacher's itch. <laughs> First, stop being a spineless man. Stop being a spineless man before you look at the pulpit. That's right. You got to be willing to sacrifice if you, if you walk with the truth and that wife tell you, well, if you stay in that, I ain't going to touch you ever again. And you ain't touching me. If you cry, cry. But hold your Bible ground. That's right. I don't care if, if you so cold until frost build up on your mustache and your whole mustache fall off the top lip. That's right. Anytime the bedroom dictate what you preach, who's a liar to say you sent by God. Amen. You're sent by a skirt. That's right. That's why they say I'm mean because none of these fellas is preaching this. No, no. Any ministry name after the preacher and his wife. Imagine me having another segment of the truth of God. Questions you can ask, ask pastor and sister Janice. That's right. That's right. That's out of hell. <laughs> hey, my wife sitting next to me calling. Call questions in. you could ask pastor and his wife, Sister Jennings. That's right. This ain't no husband and wife ministry. We ain't no tag team. Amen. When it comes to that Bible and preaching the gospel, we ain't no tag team. No, no. When they preach the gospel, it's God and I. That's right. And that's it. Let's get some Bible. 11 chapter 1 Corinthians begin at verse 1. Let's see the order of things. The order of things. I know many of you women now is cussing like I don't know what. Because your husband hears this and he's telling you this and you cussing him out. That's right. I done had men write me and told me they heard this message and their wife cussed them out. The man tried to get a spine. Yeah. Some of you fellas write me, Pastor Jennings, I don't know what to do. I tried telling my wife, but she, she told me that if I want to follow Jesus, I can't have sex with her. What should I do? Be a monk and follow Jesus. That's right. 
That's right. Earnestly contend. Earnestly contend for the faith. Earnestly. Let's see the order of things. First Corinthians chapter 11 at verse 3. Let's begin at verse 1. At verse 1. Quickly. Be ye followers of me. Be ye followers of even me. Even as I also am of Christ. Yes. Now I praise you, brethren. Now I praise you, brethren. That ye remember me in all things. Remember me in everything. And keep the ordinances keep as the I delivered them to as you. as I delivered unto you. But I would have you know. I want, yeah, look at the order. Amen. I would have you to know. That the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is, is Christ. Christ. And the head of the woman, and the head of the woman is the is the man. Is the man. And the head of Christ, and the head of Christ is God. What you mean? The head of the man is Christ. The head of the man was the Son of God. That's right. Because he's the head of the body. The of the body. And what else is that? And the head of the woman, and the head of the woman is the man. Is the man. And the head of Christ, and the head of Christ is God. That meaning the head of the, that that body of flesh and blood that Mary birth is the Spirit. That's why the Spirit. In the first chapter of the book of Luke, it is written, when Jesus was born, he shall be called the son of, of the, the highest. highest. God is the highest. The highest. Jesus Christ, that body was the son of God. That's right. So therefore, the spirit that was in it was higher right. than the actual man. That's right. Higher in nature. One nature was divine, the other nature is human. That's right. So you false prophets that use that scripture. That the Lord took uh, the rib from Adam. That mean that the woman is side by side with the man. No. Ain't no Bible said that you're <laughs> side by side with a lie. And the head of you the woman. You are side by side liar. <laughs> That's, right. That's what you are. That's a right. side by side liar. That's right. And when I preach it, they say, ooh, he put women down. No, I don't. I'm preaching Bible. Don't it's, blame me. It's the Bible. I'm preaching Bible. The reason why some of you are mad is because you're so arrogant. So stubborn and so devilish mean, and you want the old hempback hem man back. that you can control with your womb. Mm. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, Anytime brother. a woman body control you, you're not a man. No. You're not a, not a man. When a woman body control you, you're not a man. That's right. Because if you can be controlled by a woman body, you're going to be riding around seeing who you can pick up? Yes, you will. That's right. She's going to dictate when you come to church and when you stay home? Yeah. If she don't want to come to church, all she's going to do is throw her body on you. Throw her arms around you, all naked and kissing. Don't you go to the stay home. <laughs> and you're like, come on, girl, I got to go to church. Nah, I got to go to church. Come on, I don't, don't go to church. <laughs> Am I right, I said? Yes. Throw that leg round your thigh like a hook, like a hook. catching a fish. Yes. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead, man. When a woman do that just to keep you out of church, the devil was using her. Oh, yeah. That ain't love, that's the devil using it. That's right. Because when a woman got the mind of Christ, she ain't going to try to keep you out of God's house. No way. If a husband got the mind of Christ, he ain't going to try to keep you out of God's house. Because right. the word said, I was glad when they said, it. When they said unto me, let us, go let us go to the house of the Lord. Let the us go. The house of the Lord. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Glad about it. Glad about it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I suppose the Bible said this is good for the present distress. Some of you men here, I'm talking in your business and I know it. That's right. Some of you have chose to stay home to have sex over church. Over church. Over church. You had we chose sex over church. That's right. Some of you women did the same thing, chose sex over church. <laughs> That's right. You're not contending for the faith. Not earnestly contending You're for contending the faith. for the meat market. That's right. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Pastor Jennings, you're just different. No, I'm just Pastor Jennings. <laughs> I'm just G. That's all. That's all. That's and all. I believe what's written. That's and it. And I'm determined to contend for that faith. The, the faith, faith got to be more important than anything in the world. That's when are right. you going to get this in your head? That's right. The faith of the Lord Jesus Christ must be more important more to important. you than your daily food. That's right. So the Bible says man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of God's mouth. That's right. 
I'm laboring to elevate your mind and your heart to be like Jesus. That's it. Not be like Jennings. That's be it. like Jesus. That's right. Wonderful, wonderful. Are you listening? Amen. This is necessary, teacher. It was needful for me to write unto you. And what? And exhort you. What happened? That you should earnestly contend for the faith. Earnestly. Earnestly contend. Keep it up. That's it. What happened? Which was once delivered unto the saints. You got to pursue the things that they pursue. That's right. In order to be in the church, in order mm -hmm. to stay in the church, you got to pursue the things they pursue. Yeah. You can't put nothing equal to God, next to God, certainly not above God. No way. Nothing in your life should rival God. That's right. Nothing in nobody. That's right. And when you take this type of one man wrote me, he said, uh, to me, you are the John the Baptist of the 21st century. <laughs> he said, Pastor Jennings, I have went from church to church, so-called apostolic, so-called holiness, and nobody is crying out against the ills of the world. Mm. And he said, I must confess, when I first heard you, I couldn't stand you. He said, I said some things about you that I had to repent for later. Mm. Well, I'm pretty sure he's not alone. That's right. I'm pretty sure as many of you here <laughs> said all kind of things about you. Sure you That's did. Right. Sure you did. You oh, couldn't yeah. stand me. Yeah. Thought something was wrong with me. Even now, Bowser say I'm crazy. Bowser <laughs> 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 yeah. sometime now said I lost my mind. I saw that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with me. Oh, no. I believe what is written. And most people have never met a preacher that's willing to stick one trillion percent to what's written. That's it. They talk it. It sounds good. Yeah. But they ain't willing to do it. That's right. Not only am I willing to do it, I'm determined to do it at all costs and at all loss. Wonderful. Pastor Jennings, how is it you feel that way? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's use the intelligence that God gave us. What did you come in the world with? Nothing. What did you come with? Nothing. What do you think you're going out with? Nothing. Nothing. That settled that argument then. Ain't no need for you to get so attached to nothing because you might lose it anyway. That's right. Not only that, if you get attached to something more than God, more than he'll God. take it from you. Yes, he will. Whether it's your husband, whether it's your wife, whether it's your job, whether it's your money, whether it's your house. That's right. The Lord giveth. Giveth. And the Lord taketh away. And the away. Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah, take your husband. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He can do it. Yeah, take your wife. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. You better get this thing right in your mind. That's right. Everybody is expendable but God. But God. Even I am expendable. That's right. I won't say you're the man of God. So what? So was Moses. Moses died. God buried him. God wasn't stuck. The journey kept going. Hey, uh, Joshua, Joshua, as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. <laughs> That's right. He told Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart out of thine mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night to observe to do according to all that is written therein. Then thou, thou, thou way shall be prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. good success. Moses got buried, but the journey kept going. That's right. I'm not a fool. Wonderful, brother. You in here think you're not expendable. You, you think that? Mm. Creation is expendable. That's why heaven and earth going to pass that's away. away. Eh? That's right. They're going to burn it up. That's right. You're going to glory in your house now and glory in your money now. But when you die, you can't take nothing with you. No. All of us in here know somebody that died. And the one that died left everything behind. That's right. Didn't they do it? Amen. You still see the old dirty stinking sneakers. You see the old shoes. You see the old suits, the old faded shirts. Even their pictures is faded. That's right. You see the bottles of perfume. Outdated now, they done sat there so long, the fragrance changed. Yeah. Don't even smell like perfume no more. That's right. When you get it in your mind that you're not expendable, you are arrogant, self-righteous fool. Oh, yes. Heaven and earth going to so pass, pass away, away and the lust thereof. That's right. But he that doeth the will of God shall abide forever. Shall abide forever. 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 
I think of that, all this work God had me doing, killing myself, just to come burn it up. Mm. He's going to come burn it all up, all of it. He's going to burn it all up. All up. Amen. So please, I don't want nobody, man or woman, think you're not expendable. Everything in the earth, God going to get rid of. Get rid of it. The only thing you'll abide forever is his word. The word. And that's what I want you, your mind to get just like that. Don't get too attached right. to nothing and nobody that you're willing to exchange it for God. For God. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. This is old school teaching. That's right. What would a man give exchange for in his exchange soul. for his soul? Name soul. one thing that you have or one thing you met that is more important than God. And let me meet it. That's right. I don't care if it's in your pocket or it's on your shelf or it walk, it talk. I would like to see it. Amen. I said, Pastor Janice, I, I, this here rival God. No, it don't. No. You love your wife more than God. God will afflict her. Yes, he can. You love your husband more than God. God will smite him. That's right. Do you know why? 20th chapter book of Exodus will tell you why. That's it. And give me where God will make thee sick and smiting thee. Smiting thee. Exodus chapter All 20. All sickness don't come from the devil. No. Yeah, hear me, hear me. I want to educate you today real good. That's right. Because these preachers out here saying only the devil make you sick. That's a lie. That's a lie. Hear me good? First in Exodus chapter 20 and at verse 1. Listen. And God spake all these words saying, I am the Lord thy God, I which have brought thee out of the land of God Egypt. That brought you out of the land out of, of the house of bondage. And what? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Yes. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Make no graven image. Or any likeness or of any anything likeness that of is in heaven above, that's a heaven above. Or that is in the earth beneath, beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth. And what else? Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. What? Nor serve them. Why? For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Now, who do you think you are? <laughs> that's right. Mr. Big Stuff. You remember that? <laughs> Mr. Big Stuff. Mr. Big Stuff. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? That's right. Folk walk around here think they so much. You hear the Bible says you're less than nothing. Less than nothing. Who? Everybody. That's I'm right. less than nothing. That's right. And if I can admit I'm less than nothing, don't you come to me like you so much or something. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hear me, God. Now in Micah chapter 6 and verse 13. Chapter and verse again. Micah chapter 6 and verse 13. That's what? Therefore also will I make thee sick. Get at verse 12. At verse 12. Listen at this. For the rich men thereof are full of violence. The rich men are full of violence. And the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies. And what? And their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Yes. Therefore also will I make God thee talking. sick. Therefore. Amen. I, a lot of folks don't know this is in the Bible. No. Therefore, I I will make thee get sick. Get chapter and verse again. Micah chapter six and Micah, verse chapter six. Chapter six and verse thirteen. And verse thirteen. Therefore, also will I make thee sick. How I'm going to do it? In smiting thee. What? In making thee desolate because of thy sins. Yeah. Yeah. Cause your hard headness and disobedience Hallelujah. and putting other things in front of God. God, uh, do something or alter your breathing. Yes, he will. Pains you never had before. You think it's pains because of age, and it isn't. That's right. God is knocking at the door of your heart. Yeah. You know we got a merciful God considering he can cut us off whenever he chooses. That's right. Thank you, oh God, you're still in the land of the living. You that are sinners that are here, who've been watching us over YouTube and other stations. It's time for you to get right with God and stop living like a fool. You always tell your friends, ain't no fool, man. Stop acting like one then. <laughs> you out here gang banging and drinking. You got all that beer in your house. You know that six pack. You took one last night. Amen. Took one last night and you thought about Pastor Jennings while you was getting. 
Pastor Jenny say you shouldn't be taking no beer, but I'm like, this is going to be my last one, yes. and I'm going to church tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Amen. God wants to clean you up. And you should want to be clean until the Bible said you're clean through the word that I speak unto you. Why do you think the church is in such a disarray? No word, no you word. can't be clean. The word comes to clean the church. And there's some stains you got to resort to aggressive methods to clean it. Amen. That old, before you had a washing machine, that old time, we'll get that scrub board. That's right. And that big old metal tub, and you scrub that thing and scrub that thing. Sometimes the wife may wash her husband's shirts. He may not have a ring around the collar. He may have an expressway around the collar. <laughs> the ring, the ring that went all the way down the collar. The thing spread. <laughs> that thing spread it like a virus. She can spray stuff on it, spray. scrub it, before she throw it in the washing machine. That's right. I got to use the soap of scriptures, soap of the refine the soap. And he shall sit. Hear, hear this. Now in the book of Malachi, chapter 3, we're at verse 2. That's right. But who may abide the day who of may his abide coming? By the day of his coming, not their coming. His coming. I was in St. Lucia, and men rose up to debate me about who Jesus was. Yeah. And they read, he read yeah. some scripture. And he, I said, so who is coming back for the church? He said, two. I said, who are they? Who are they? He said, the father and the son. Two is going to come back to rapture the church. Mm. I said, well, the Bible said the Lord himself. Yo. He said, I asked him, do you believe that? He said, no. Yeah, I right. told him, you go sit down. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Amen. They're so blind and deceive other devil. Yeah. Do you hear this? Malachi chapter 3 and at verse 2. What is it? But who may abide the day of his coming? Who may abide? Glory to God the day of his coming. And who shall stand when he appeareth? Who shall stand when he? Ain't going to be no day appearing. No. He. That's one. That's right. Who is that one? Jesus. Jesus. The Lord himself. 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 That's right. Yeah, good. For he is like a refiner's he like, fire. Look at it. He's like a refiner's fire. And like fuller's soap. And like fuller's soap. Soap. I have to come along and with the word of God and wash you. Yeah. Uh, I got to get Bible for saying that. Isaiah, I believe, 116. 116. So much Bible coming to my mind and I'm ready to quit. Isaiah, my father have not left me alone. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 16. That's what? Wash you. What? Wash you. For what reason? Make you clean. Why? Put, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. What is God's suggestion? Cease to do evil. What shall we learn? Learn to do well. What shall we go after? Seek judgment. And what else? Believe the oppressed. And? Judge the fatherless. What shall we do? Plead for the widow. What shall we do, son? Come now. Stay away. Come now. Be hard head. Come now. Be mad. Come now. Be upset. Come now. Come on! And let us reason together. That's what Brother Logan said. Come on! <laughs> That's right. That's right. Come on, let us reason together. Saith the Lord. Saith God. Though your sins be as scarlet. Hold it. They shall be as white as snow. Though they be. Sin, here, here, here now. Amen. Amen. Sins as scarlet. Scarlet. Scarlet, scarlet is like a bright red. Yeah. So when the Bible says, though your sins be as scarlet, that's scarlet. like when the harlot Rahab, I believe it was, when Israel was going to come in town and by God's permission and God was going to tear down everything. And for her house and her to be saved, she was instructed to let this scarlet thread down out the window. Because uh, that way when we come in town, you will be spared. So when the Bible says, though your, skin, your sins, sins be, as, be scarlet. as scarlet, that means your sins is seen. Yeah. Your sins are bold. That's right. Then what? Though your sins, your be sins are loud. That's right. That's right. What are you going to do with them? They shall be as white as snow. You're going to tone that stuff down. Though they be red like crimson. Though they be red like crimson. They shall be as wool. They shall be as wool. If he be willing. Now. Are you listening to me today? Amen. Do you hear the word of God talking? If ye be willing. No, if you got to force them. If ye be willing. Fight with them. If ye be willing. Argue with them. If ye be willing. Go tit for tat. If ye be willing. Amen. That's it. 
God wants cooperation. That's right. And what I find, it is hard to get people to do something as simple as cooperate. They will cooperate for money. Yeah. But it's hard to get them to cooperate with the Bible. That's right. Tell them the Bible says this. The Bible says that. I know, but this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's right. What they say. I was debating when they sang Lucia. I told him what the Bible said. He wouldn't cooperate it. He wouldn't cooperate with it. I said, is that the truth? They said, no. No. And then he wanted to bring the Bible. I said, they don't need to bring me nothing if you don't believe this. That's right. Cooperate with God. You want God to cooperate with you, don't you? Oh, yes. I want God to cooperate with me. Certainly I do. Oh, yes. Who would not want God to cooperate with them? The one that had the power of life and death. And all your blessings come from him. Come from him. You remember that. All your blessings right. come from him. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Not once yet have God had to take a blessing from me through the years that he gave me. Not once. Not once. I'm determined to keep that record. I won't let nobody interfere with me and my God. Nobody. I'll fight you tooth and nail or I'll walk away from you. That's right. I'll leave you alone. That what? Someone say, you was perfect? Nope. Well, how is it then? David was a man after God's own heart. And David was not perfect. That's right. But you know how he remained a man after God's own heart? The humility of his heart and the repentance and the acknowledgement of his wrong. That's right. I'm not, some, I'm not talking about somebody just keep trying to tell you, did you do this, did you do that, did you do that? And you know you didn't, but they keep hounding you. That man keep hounding you because he wants you to say yes. Yeah. You know you're innocent about the thing. I wouldn't care if Gabriel came here. That's right. You want to stay, keep your blessings? Always acknowledge between you and God. That's right. God have never at one time, not once. And I'm willing to turn my back and walk away and knock out and stomp down everything. <laughs> Getting baritone on you. Everything. Like the Hulk. Everything. <laughs> All the blessings you have. Don't you want to keep them? Yeah. Oh, yes. And don't you want more? Yeah. I want the word of God to be fulfilled that the windows of heaven open up and I don't have room to receive. That's right. That's what I want. That's right. Wonderful, brother. I got brothers that are good brothers. And I got some sisters that are good sisters. But some of them can testify that there were blessings that God took from them. Mm. Took it. And they knew God took it. I remember one of my brothers, he was praying for a contract and he got it. In fact, several of them. But because of his conduct, God took him. He took contract after contract after contract after contract, making good money. God know what to do to keep you humble. That's right. That's right. Don't ever right. let God have to curse your blessing. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Don't ever let God have to curse your blessing. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, God don't care who you are. No. Take it from an apostle. 
I was made by hands of heaven. God don't care who I am when no. it come to his word. Moses mm -hmm. died. God buried him. I don't read where God was somewhere crying. No. No, no. Not God. Not God. No. Moses died. Hey, Joshua, rise up. Take this people on this journey. That's right. As I was with Moses, so shall, shall I, I be with you. My Lord, what more can you ask? Mm. I'm laboring to Hallelujah. get God's people to prioritize. That's right. Put God first. Nothing in this life should be more important in your life than God. Once you put him first, keep him there. Right. Don't let nobody invade their territory. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. Keep them out. Keep her out. Keep him out. Keep them out. That's right. Thank God when they try to invade that territory. Remember what Brother Jude have declared. Back in Jude 1 and I'm at verse 3. Holy Ghost gave us all something certainly good. Oh, yes. What is it? Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, yes. it was needful for me to write unto you. It was necessary. And exhort for you. For me to write unto you and. Exhort you. Fill you up. That ye should earnestly contend for this earnest. faith. You want to earnestly contend for this faith. You want mm. to be sound in it. Oh, yes. Until you can be exposed to any trash doctrine out here. That's right. And you're not phased. That's right. If you're not sound in holiness, you leave everything else alone. You get this in you. Get this. Get this in you. Learn it. That's right. Because I guarantee when we start associating ourselves with people who start believing lies, they make you start asking questions about the lies they believe that you ain't never ask. That's right. And then I got this. Exhausting job to undo the ignorance that your friend done to you. That's right. Be it man or woman. Know how to tell him or her. I don't want to hear it. That's right. I don't want to hear it. Well, I thought we were a brother. We ain't that close that I got to hear your foolishness. I don't want to hear it. That's right. Well, I think I don't want what you think. No. I heard what God thought first. That's right. That's right. Well, why you got to put the Bible in everything? Why not? That's right. You got to be full of hell to even make such a statement. Yeah. Boy, a child of God wants the Bible in everything. Oh, yeah. All of our ways is in the book. That's right. That's right. Jude 1 and 1 says, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Are you sanctified? Sanctified. Are you set apart for the Lord and the Lord only? That's right. Get me. That's right. Sanctified. sanctified. And preserved. And preserved in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ and Christ. called. What? And called. And called. Mercy. You want to be preserved, preserved. and kept. That's right. Sanctified by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. Don't be afraid. Not to be like the world. That's right. That's right. Amen. You sisters, don't be afraid because you're at the job with your head covered. Muslim, Muslim women do it. You don't find a Muslim woman ashamed at all. No. A Muslim woman will have her head covered, her all that stuff covered with no shame. So-called holy sanctified folk have on something so small, it don't even cover their head. It's like a little offering plate on their head. That's so right. worrying about their hair getting all messed up. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is that? Bible said if a woman pray or prophesy having her head uncovered, uncovered she dishonor her head. Who cares what the job thinks? They don't bother the Muslim. They don't bother the Jew either. No, they don't. Amen. 
Jesus said, if you're ashamed of me. Whosoever shall be ashamed uh, of me. Listen at the book of Luke. St. Luke chapter 9 and verse 26. For whosoever shall whosoever be ashamed I, of me. Jesus talking. Shall be ashamed of me. And of my words. And of what I teach. Of him shall the son of, of man be ashamed. shall the son of man be ashamed. be ashamed. When he shall come in his own glory. And in his father's. When Jesus come back. And with that glorified body. That's right. The glory that he put on. That the spirit put on him the day he rose. And he come on back. You, he gonna get you back for being ashamed of him. Yeah. That's right. Family come to your house. You know you don't smoke. Don't be ashamed to tell them no, you know we don't smoke here. That's right. And don't tell them go outside and he go outside on your steps. Tell them no, don't even smoke on my property. Don't smoke on my property That's at right. all. I don't care if you're having a fit. Amen. Don't smoke on my property at all. That's right. We become ashamed. Come to family members. That's when they say, well, I don't want them to think I'm crazy. Give me the New Testament and see who we are fool for. Right. That's right. That's when they don't, they, they, when you tell them and stand up for God. That's the problem for a lot of us today. We scared. We cowards. That's right. Church going cowards. First Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 10. Yeah, stand up and argue over everything else. That's true. But for God, they won't even open their mouth. That's true. A coward. Cowards. Get me. First Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 10. That's what? We are fools for Christ's sake. 